My name is Howard Berry. I'm the father of a late Staff Sergeant Joshua Berry. My son died of wounds that were sustained during the first board head shooting. You won't find Josh listed among the killed or the wounded. He didn't exist. The Army forgot about him. As the fifth anniversary of the first Fort Hood shooting approaches, I'd like to remind you of the sacrifices that were made on November 5th, 2009. Nadal Hassan murdered 13, wounded 32. Did you know that men and women from 23 different states were killed or wounded? Did you know that the shooting was classified a random act of violence in the workplace? Did you know that the victims and their families are still waiting for the truth to be told? Simply put, the shooting was a terrorist act. This has become a domestic Benghazi. Did you know that Senate Bill 1500 was introduced almost a year ago? It was written in an effort to honor the victims and to tell the truth. To date, no Democrats have supported this legislation in the Senate, Senator Reid included. And I don't understand. I don't understand how Senator Reid can turn his back on some of the very people who volunteered to stand between us and our enemies. What did they teach you at West Point? When did this become a red team, blue team issue? I do know that my son fought for all Americans. I believe in supporting the troops. And I believe that that support should be more than a, a yellow ribbon decal on the, on the back of a car. Or thank you for your service to our country. Or sadder yet what people say to me. Sorry for your loss. I believe that supporting the troops requires action. I'm asking the good people in Rhode Island to support the troops with their action. I'm asking you to please vote for Mark Sicaria this November. He won't turn his back on the troops. He understands. He won't forget the victims. God bless. I miss my son.